every day we hear of ladies women abandoning their husbands in the uk in us in canada after bringing them from nigeria from africa and at the end of the day it's either they call police for you it's either they abandon you they run after another man after getting their papers but we hardly hear of a man abandoning a woman who brought him into the country for another woman today's video guys see i'm going to be throwing some bullets i'm just going to speak fat in this video but at first i'll let you guys watch the video before you know i'll say what i want to say because when i saw this video a lot of things was going through my mind we've heard different stories of her uh, you know men that brings women into the uk treats them at the end of the day the woman will you know leave the man divorce the man and say oh i'm no longer interested but it's rare for you know for stories like this to come out of a man abandoning the wife or abandoning the woman or the lady that brought him into the country for another woman or you know after getting papers i know a lot of men do it after getting their papers they will say oh she's no longer my type she's not the one that you know i really loved we've heard a lot of stories like that but today's video i was really really shocked when i saw this video this lady ha, she has mind for her to pick up her phone open her camera inside the hospital to record this guy see she must have gone through a lot i'll just let you guys watch the video and then i'll be back with the rest of my thoughts in this very video meanwhile if you are if you are meeting me for the first time you are highly welcome my name is joan i'm based here in england if you like what i do here yeah, subscribe and for my returning subscribers you guys are awesome thanks for always coming back to support this platform i do not take your support for granted you are the reason i keep posting videos on daily basis i'll let you watch this video from this um lady and the brother and then i will be back with the rest of my thoughts in this very video desmond you got tanisha pregnant is that tanisha you got her pregnant after using me to come over to uk for papers i gave you the visa and you got somebody pregnant telling her lies yeah telling her lies you you got into uk with visa and now you've got someone pregnant because your visa is about to expire and you've got her pregnant tanisha shame on you your mom is going to be so disappointed I'm in you tanisha, and who are you nicola are you the nicola one nicola and did you take did you tell you that we are married did he tell you he came over to uk because of me did he tell you that and you're pregnant for him do you know what goes around comes around do you That's know what goes around comes around? Do you know how much I spent to bring this fucker into this country? What the What's your name? Do you know what? Did he tell you he's married? You've not even divorced me yet. This is the pregnancy paper. He's not even divorced me yet. There's no God who will punish you. There's one. But you, you know what? This baby, I took the son because he's gonna use the baby to stay in the UK. Yeah. He's gonna use the baby to stay in the UK. He, he used me to come back to UK. When you are tired. When you are tired. Then left me and followed another woman. Left me and left another woman and got her pregnant. There's one. What goes around comes around. God is gonna punish you, Desmond, because I did everything I had stop, stop to do. Yourself, I, you are embarrassing yourself, Desmond. Shame on you. Shame on you. Yeah, you're already part of it because you knew he was married. You knew he's married, and we're still married. You need to divorce me, Desmond. You need to divorce me, Desmond. Divorce me, Desmond. Divorce me. You got. You've got her pregnant now to just, stay in the UK. Divorce me, there is more. Divorce, divorce this yeah, man. Don't get to me to get her. No, you face. use me for visa to come over to UK. Hey. Yeah? Hey. He used me for hey. visa to come to the UK. Yeah. Left oh, me and went right. to get this lady pregnant. Yes. Went to yeah, get her face. pregnant. Welcome back, guys. Um, you've seen the video. You know, videos like this, that's why I'll keep bringing them here for us to learn. I'll bring them here for us to learn. Because when I saw this video, 
a lot of comments were left in the comment section and some people were like they are very sure that this lady that brought the guy into the country probably you know allegedly must have been maltreating the guy probably threatening him that okay i'm not gonna renew your papers i'm not gonna do this i'm not going to do that because she brought the guy into the country now that is what some people were saying in the comment section why other people were saying that it is very wrong very very wrong for this guy to abandon this lady that brought him into the country and then you know get another woman pregnant in the process of getting papers because you heard the lady when she was telling the other lady that he wants to use your baby to get papers he wants to use your child to stay in the country so that gets you know gets me wondering if really this lady brought the guy into the country yeah he brought the guy into the country so the guy was supposed to get his papers his uh, permits his uh, indefinite leave to remain whatever you want to call it through the lady that brought him into the country but i think along the line something went wrong and then probably the lady said i'm not going to sponsor you anymore and you know that when you don't have a sponsor in the country you are you are you become an illegal immigrant because when your visa expires there's nothing for you to renew and all that i think probably that was when the guy you know decide to go look for another lady and get her pregnant so thinking that okay i'm going to use this pregnancy this baby of this lady to get my papers to get my stay to get my document whatever you want to call it but let's fix reality here why is it that you know marriages in diaspora i don't want to say only uk now why is it that marriages in diaspora most of them end up like this they don't really last sometime when the other partner finally gets their papers their stay they will not even stay up to five six months they will decide to dish the person that gave them the papers at but some of them i know it's not their fault because some of them must have gone through um, a lot a lot in the hands of these people that are sponsoring them we've heard a lot of stories whereby a lady will sponsor a man and everything that this man is working the lady will be collecting it we've also heard stories of men bringing their wives into the country and then everything that the woman is working the man will be collecting it all in the name that i brought you into the country so we've heard a lot of stories like this it's not as if this is the first and this is going to be last there are still more that will be coming but what i want to say here is that there is no manual to um marriage a successful marriage there is no manual it takes the grace of god and i will still say it again there are good women out there you know whom uh, men have brought into the country they are still together and there are still good men out there that some other women have brought into the country they are still together so you will not say because this one is bad and then you tag every other person and say oh they are bad we still have good people out there please let's try as much as possible especially our nigerian brothers and sisters let's try to keep positive uh let's leave positive footprints about the nigeria name about the nigeria society because it really pains me when you go somewhere and then they ask you where are you originally from and then you say i'm from nigeria they start to say some things that are not really nice about your country is something that is not really nice me i don't really enjoy it at all at all so please let's try as much as possible because we saw the video it is very clear it seems that this guy has been playing um a lot with this lady because at some point the lady was asking the pregnant lady are you sonia are you stephanie oh you are not stephanie you are not this you are not that that is to tell you that this very guy has a lot of women that probably this lady could not cope with and then she decided to say oh i'm not going to sponsor your next visa since you want to keep you know moving from one woman to the other where i don't really know the story because it's what they put out there that i am reacting to 
i would like to you know hear your comments down below in the comment section i'll see every one of you in my next video but please please let's try as much as possible to be nice it doesn't cost much to be nice guys let's try as much as possible to be nice i'll see you guys in my next video have a wonderful day and bye